in the heart of a bustling city, hidden away from the chaos of everyday life, lies a chill room, if you will. This room serves as a sanctuary for the hard-working individuals who toil day and night to keep the world turning. The workers, exhausted from their demanding tasks, sit together, sharing stories and laughter as they enjoy their meals. But there was one item in the chill room that caught their attention. A lamp. A plain and basic lamp, so ordinary that it seemed to fade into the background. The brainstorm began. Each of them created a sketch of how they wanted the lamp to look like. A lot of excellent designs were created that day. Unfortunately, they could have chosen only one of them. They decided to use Zofia's design. Some time ago, they were creating the Nurgle Garden Army for Warhammer 40k, which was the inspiration for her design. The lamp was going to become the bell which Nurgle himself holds in his hands and uses his green tool to spread disease and despair amongst his enemies. Additionally, they took some inspiration from the TV series The Last of Us. Especially the intro of the series with the spreading cordyceps caught her attention the most. She loved the textures that were used and she wanted to do something similar on the lamp. Having a clear vision of what they wanted to do, they got to work. The first task was to create a bell-shaped lampshade using a giant flower pot as the main construction element. The king of chaos, Nargul, seemed to whisper in their minds, urging them to embrace the chaos and set their creativity free. This device, the heat gun, is heating up the plastic so Zofia can give it a specific shape after. This is the top of the bell. She put it in the bowl and kept heating the plastic up until it fell into it and transformed into a desired shape. We decided to use a classic Nurgle symbol on the bell. They applied a grainy paste to the whole bell which added some texture to it. They wanted to achieve a rusty metal surface. The little mushrooms that overgrow the bell were handled by Chris. This is the software Chris used to prepare for printing. In case of mushrooms, he uploaded some designs that he liked the most and experimented with scaling up the objects. We're using Formlabs printers and they come with a dedicated software called Preform. The software uses the free piece supporting files automatically. In case of mushrooms, he's using special draft resin that provides really fast SLA printing. And as a final detail, we added this small or rather huge nargling. However, not everything was possible to be printed. Zofia sculpted some polypores herself. The lamp hangs from a board which was too bare for our liking, so we decided to change it. We put mounting foam on it, yes, the one for sealing windows and doors. Pavel thought it would make a great base, as it looks quite organic when it sets. The team tried to glue some of the shrooms on mounting foam, but it was not the best idea. They were falling off because the foam was too wet to hold them. They had to rescue them with glue. The bell finally began taking on a character. They added some other elements, for example this mesh, to create a mycelium-like structure. Moving on to the painting. Firstly, the bell was primed with a black spray. Then the use of colors began. At this stage, they did not know what color scheme they decide on. But they created a base piece by piece. The bell gained a silver color. The next step was painting with an airbrush. The color palette finally came through.
With a paintbrush, they turned up the colors, added details to the smaller elements. Maya came with the idea to create a slime that hangs from the bottom of the bell to add a fall effect. They created it from transparent warbler, which we painted after. See for yourself what a disgusting effect it gave. Hours turned into days, days into weeks, and slowly their creation took shape. Piece by piece, they assembled the lamp, infusing it with their love. It became a manifestation of their unity, a symbol of their rebellious spirit against the monotony of everyday life.